Okay, we uh, shot another hog tonight. This one here weighs uh, 226 is what we put him on the scale at. Um, again, we're going to shoot it. We're going to check uh, check our penetration on this hog using two different bows. Um, the two different bows we're using tonight, we got one bow here. Um, it's a uh, it's more of a deer hunting bow. Um, it's got an IBO rating of 315 feet per second, but Real world, that bow's shooting 270 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. I got a 29 inch draw length. Um, that bow right there has got a kinetic energy somewhere around 65. Um, it's going to be your average deer hunting setup. You might get a little bit more, you might get a little bit less. Your average deer hunting setup busts 300 or 270 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. That's that one. Um, the other bow we got here, um, this is a little bit more powerful bow. Um, it's my hog bow. I set it up specially for hogs because I was having a penetration problem with that bow. Um, and this hog right here is not one of the biggest um, hogs out there, but it is a decent hog. Um, on this on this bow right here, we're going to be shooting a much heavier arrow. Um, this, this arrow right here weighs about 700 grains. Uh, we're going to be looking at more of a, uh, it's actually a two blade with some bleeders on it. Um, much heavier arrow. Um, again, this bow right here has got an IBO speed of 366 feet per second. In the real world, shooting a heavy arrow. Um, this is a really heavy arrow. Uh, we're looking at shooting about 270 feet per second. We're not shooting, or 260 feet per second. We're not shooting any faster out of this bow than we are that bow. The difference is we're shooting a much heavier arrow. The kinetic energy on this arrow is busting about, ah, uh, about 99 foot pounds on this one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this hog a couple times and uh, see what happens on this. Okay, first bow up, uh, more of a deer bow. Um, we're going to be shooting that hog right there. We're standing right about 20 yards, 20 paces. Um, we're right in the ballpark of 20 yards. Uh, we're using a, a regular three blade on this thing, um, what most people are going to use for deer hunting. Um, we're going to shoot this hog right in the shield, right in the vitals. We're not going to do any quartering away. We're not going to do any quartering to. We're going to bust him right in the vitals and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get enough penetration on him to, uh, to get a kill on a 226, which isn't a monster, uh, but people see him out there. All right, we're down here at the hog. Um, first shot, um, right here, like I said, we're looking at about 65 um, foot-pounds on this one. Uh, 400 grain arrow traveling about 260, 270 feet per second. Uh, as you can see, shooting straight into the shield, right into the vitals. Um, we're looking at about about eight inches of penetration. Um, enough to uh, enough to get into the kill zone on this hog for sure. Obviously, we didn't get uh, much further than that. Uh, maybe a single, probably a single lung, may not have got into double lung on this hog. Uh, let's see how far we got in here. Right there is the scapula. We were just on the other side of the scapula with him. Pretty sure is where we were at. Shit, I mean, I got your scapula. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. Okay, now we're going to take this bow um, with the higher kinetic energy. We're going to take and we're going to try and shoot it right in the exact same spot and uh, see if we get deeper penetration um, with this heavy arrow, this more powerful bow um, on this particular hog. Okay, now. We just shot the more powerful bow with the heavier arrow. As you can remember, this arrow over here, um, that's the penetration that we got. Um, definitely would have, should have got into one lug. We're going to open him up in a second and check it out. Um, on the heavier arrow, um, we hit in pretty much the exact same spot. The only thing holding in was the fletchings on this arrow right here. That arrow right there would have got double lung. You would have had you a nice blood trail. Um, you would have found this hog within about 40 yards. Uh, so anyway, if you're going to go after the big hogs, you're going to go after hogs that are going to uh, have these shields on them, get you a heavy arrow, get you a good bow set up. Um, if you start getting frustrated like I did because you keep shooting big hogs and you can't ever find them, um, get you a bigger bow, get you a bigger heavier arrow, and uh, you'll start putting these guys right here on the ground. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to open this hog up from the outside in. We're going to see exactly how deep this arrow got because I'm not sure... Um, if we uh, if we got into lungs or not, 
Um, so we're going to open him up and we're going to see how far in the three blade goes right into this, right into these vitals here. It's the only three blade that was shot at this hog tonight. So we'll know which one it was as long as it's not too torn up in here. Check out that shield. A lot of shield to get through with a bow and arrow. Okay, I think we're here enough now. All right, but right, there's the uh, the meat of the shoulder. That scapula that I'm bouncing along right now, I should be in there. All right. That's it right there. Um, we proved what we needed to prove. Uh, with this one, we got through the scapula. Um, and into the chest cavity. I can feel it all right there. Um, basically, what's going to happen with this hog, you're going to shoot him. He's going to run for a long way. You're not going to find him if you shoot him with a regular bow. You shoot him with your normal deer setup. You're not going to find this hog. He's going to run. He's going to run. He's not going to bleed. He's going to run four, five, six hundred yards. You're going to find him with the buzzards the next day. So if you're going to shoot these guys, get your heavy arrow set up. And uh, that way you have more success. Now, I'm not saying you can't kill a hog and find a hog like this with a, uh, you know, with your normal deer setup with a 400 grain arrow. I've done it. But I am telling you that you will not consistently do it. You will not consistently do it. 
you don't have the penetration, you don't have the power, you won't have the blood trail. Um, so if you're getting frustrated, there's a lot of high-powered bows on the market right now. Um, get you one of those, and you'll be putting down big hogs all year.